All right, so we're starting off with this quiz. Everyone's already taking it. The CIA balancing from formulas. If you're online, you can find that direct link in the daily plan, or uh, you can find it in the Chemistry in Action Lab book module. And if I were you, I would write it down, balance it, and then input the coefficient. I have the spray right here. There we go, let's get a little damp. And then put it in. Your answers will just be the coefficient. So it would be like two, one, two, or three, four, three, things like that. Zoom recording. So 61% average first hour, 70%, not bad, 60%. So this one you need just a three in front of the MG, then a one and a one. 88%, that's good. Let's give uh, Kira, Kennedy, Odessa, Savannah, Jared, Wyatt, and Spencer a hand. Now, if your name is not on that list, that doesn't mean you got it wrong. No, only eight total people took it. So let's, let's make fun of this person. Oh, just kidding. We will not, that would be rude. Oh no, no. <laughs> well, but if it's not you, then I embarrass someone. All right. Well, I know, but there's 20 something people in here. It's a quiz bank. Not everyone took it. Only eight of the 20 even got that question. Okay. This one's uh, a tricky one. Um, you just start with this, this four right here. Yeah. If you write it down, it's a lot easier to pay attention to and get it right. So four acetates, so you need four here. That means you need a two here, and then a one and a one. This one, 50-50. So this one's a hard one. Kira got it right. That's amazing. Excellent work on that, Kira. You didn't even need any help at all. Uh, so Odessa, way to rock that one. When in doubt, start with the metal. The three CAs means there has to be a three here. That made three O's plus five more, that's eight. There's eight here. You know, that, that is a hard question. That would be, these two right here come from the hard section of the exam. This would be a medium, it's just one, two, one, two. Then this one I thought I deleted because I hate how it looks. Like I like its style but it looks really stupid on your iPad because it drops down and it's just confusing. But 65% of you got that one right, 59 and 65. Okay, oh, there's more. I thought that was the last one. Oh, not too good here. This one's usually pretty simple. That's okay. You have a three, two swap and then a two, not a three, Jared Torrey. Yeah, that's it's okay, we're I'm friends. No, oh, there's another person. This one is a medium difficulty one. There's a lot of numbers everywhere. So I always, if there's a lot of stuff, I start with the metal. You can start with the SO4 here too. It doesn't really matter. But if I put a two here, that makes six OHs, which means I need a three here, which means I need a three here. And then I would be done one, three, three, two. Uh, one, two, one, one. Since there's two hydrogens here, I need to put a two in front of the acid and roll. This one, a hundred percent. Look at those people. Yeah, Wyatt. Yeah, Justin. Yeah, Oreo Dan. Yeah, pizza soup. It is a pretty. Which one, Oreo Dan or pizza soup? Okay. I've never felt talented about pizza soup. How do you how do you really say your last name? SCP. Okay, I don't think I've ever even dared say it. Yeah, that's why you just say pizza soup. Okay. All right, and then this one is a two here, which means a two there, which puts a one back in there. This is one that's considered hard. This one is pretty hard. You can tell by the amount of people that got it right. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's okay. You're a good man. All right, start with the metal. There's three here, so put a three. That makes six OHs, so put a six. That makes six H's, so put a two, and then a one. What if I have the answer wrong? It's not. I can see it right here. All right. Then there's two, three, one, three, and yada, yada, yada. Okay. The rest of the hour, we are going to work on problems 11 through 20 of your homework. These are the harder ones where you have to go from a name to a formula and then balance. So you'll need your naming schemata, your periodic table, you'll need your lab book, and you'll need a little bit of patience. This is a uh, page 12 or 13. All right, so turn there. One second. All right. Did we do any of these the other day on Friday? We did 11? Okay. All right, perfect. So we got 11 and 12 done. Let's look at 13 then. You guys are about 15 minutes ahead of the other hour. Well, not even that, probably 10. If Yeah, it's always better to be ahead than behind. Remember that in cross country, Jared. Sorry. I remember that when I was stomping everybody. <laughs> okay. Sounds not good. Oh, oh, no. Okay, so am I. Yeah, you look like it. Yeah, so am I. You look more like a churro. Just long and skinny. Oh. All right. So using your naming schemata, see if you can find the formula of nickel two chlorate. Remember that Roman numeral means this is a plus two. Okay, try that real quick on your own. Yep. All these, you'll put the symbols, then you drop and swap, and then you do the balancing. NI. <laughs> oh, man. It shouldn't be this hard. Who enjoyed watching the Steelers get their butts kicked yesterday? Just me? <laughs> okay, never mind. Did you all watch it on Nickelodeon? Oh, man. They played the football game on Nickelodeon. <laughs> yeah. And had like SpongeBob and slime. If you scored a touchdown, the end zone filled with slime on the screen. It was really pretty cool, actually. <laughs> The only problem was Cordell Patterson was yelling at the mic and he dropped the F-bomb, right? As clear as could be on Nickelodeon. <laughs> it's like, what the beep? <laughs> like, oh no. And then the... Yeah, it was right after that. And uh, <laughs> the lady's like, oh, kids, you can't say that. <laughs> it was so funny. I wasn't watching it. I just saw the highlights of it. Okay, nickel to chlorate. And I, chlorate, we find it on the front of the naming schemata. It is ClO3. What's the charge of chlorate? Negative one. Raise your hands if you know where I got that. I'm assuming you're raising your hands, right? while you're watching your movie. All right, NiClO3. Then, Ethan, what do we have to do next? That's right, drop and swap. Someone had your back. 
So there's a two here and a one here. So I'm gonna have to parenthesize this and put a two. All right, then my arrow, nickel two chloride. It's, it's a little not as hard because chloride is just the element. So Ni, that's a plus two. Chloride is just Cl. I use my periodic table and it tells me my charge of chloride is, tell your partner, not me. I think so, I just said negative one. Yeah, I heard three or four people mumble negative one. It's the masks. All right, so we drop and swap NiCl2 plus oxygen, but I gotta check, is it diatomic? Yes, sir. Yes, it is. And then once I have all the stuff written correctly, then I can balance. Will you try and balance that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, and by the way, I don't usually bite my nails in public, but I just have a killer hangnail that's super annoying me. So sorry, kids. Then I don't know why, but I just had a flashback to our snowy driver's ed day when we came down that hill from your house. It was so, so insanely slippery. But who was that other driver? I don't remember. Ian Reader. Oh, Ian Deep Voice. Yeah. Odd Kid. Brown hair. Ian Brady. Yeah. yeah, it was Ian. Oh, isn't it? Oh, this is this is slippery. I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Everybody, life hack: don't go to Gilbert's house in a snowstorm. Ever, ever, ever. Okay, who has it balanced? Even though I'm distracting everybody, raise your hands if you have it balanced. All right. So the polyatomic ion breaks up in this problem, so I have to treat it separate. So I'm just going to say I have two times six, right, Savannah Burnham? I don't add, I, I multiply. So I have six oxygens. So that means I need what number here to make six? I need three. All right, the next thing you should check are the chlorines. <clears throat> there are two times one, which is just two chlorines. So what do I need here to make two chlorines? A one and a one. On the test, you'll do all this work, but you will just type in these numbers. This answer on the exam will be 113. 113. Now, sometimes people accidentally double everything and they get two, two, six. If you do that, please reduce to one, one, two or 113, sorry. I usually have both answers acceptable, but some, sometimes I don't. Uh, I can look at that. Okay, number 14, ooh, we have not done very many of these. This one's tricky. This one is a combustion reaction. All right, so combustion reaction. I don't have the rules in front of me, but you do. Look to your left and a little higher, and you'll see the rules for combustion, like not the rules, but the time-saving tips. Do you see those? Like number one, it's page 12. It says start with a two. Does this sound familiar? Okay, so we're going to we're gonna get there, but this is a combustion reaction. So the nice thing 
I don't need to know what butane is. I already told you it is C4H10. Then plus oxygen, O2. We should hopefully know that it's O2 by now. Carbon dioxide, you've probably known your whole life, is CO2. And then water, I will write it as H2O because OH is not on this side. Okay, I'll give you a second to try this. It's been a while, so you may not remember. You can do it. I believe in you, Jared. Uh, I believe in you. You can do it. You got this, my friend. <laughs> okay. Can we imagine this class without Jared in it? It might go down as the quietest class I've ever had in my entire career. Actually, sixth hour is worse than you guys are. But there's only 14 of them. What's that? Uh, I have a bunch of smart people like James Bott, Arden, oh, Arden's what? Olivia Graves, yeah, yeah I guess. Elkington. Um, uh, Weeks, is it Xander? Yeah, yep. Uh, the only person that talks is Lexi Blanchard. And then I never remember his name. Porter something. What's Porter's last name? Porter yeah, Bischoff. And I can't remember, but it's really quiet. Okay, here we go. I, I like the class, so just pretty quiet. We start with a two. That means I literally want you to put a two at the front. Okay, yeah. so I heard Tori say there's lots of twos. Well, yeah. this doesn't mean start with the two, it means put a two at the front. Yeah, All right, then balance carbon. So two times four is eight. That means I need to put an eight right here. The next one says take the number with hydrogen and put it in front of water, which I'm going to put a 10. And then I need to balance the oxygens. Oxygen's tricky because it's in two places, right here and right here. So eight times two is 16. Then I'm gonna add 10 more. That's 26, but I have to divide it in half because the number here will be doubled. 2, 13, 8, 10. 2, 13, 8, 10. Did anyone have that right? One, two, three, four, five. Nice. All right, those are tricky. I am certainly aware of that. Let's, let's see. I look at this real fast. If you guys would, right above number 11 and below number 10, there's a little gap of white space. We have not filled that. Is that correct? Okay, let's do another combustion just for practice. So most of you today drove a gasoline powered vehicle. Gasoline is what we call octane, which is C8. That's where the oct comes from. H18, it's a combustion engine. So it's this type of reaction. We know it produces carbon dioxide that I don't know if you know, but they also produce water. Those are the two main products that your car produces as you drive. So this is a combustion reaction. We try to see if you can find the four numbers. Start with the two, balance carbons, take the number with H and put it in front of water, 
and then balance the oxygen. Ready, go. It. And of course, I forgot to restart it. There's the answers online, kids. 2, 25, 16, 18. Okay, 15. This will take us the rest of the hour. Barium. That's a plus two. It's in family two. Chloride is a negative one. It's in family seven. Sodium is a plus one because it's in family one. Sulfate is a minus two. It's a polyatomic ion of SO4. I found on my naming schemata. Then what's really nice in this reaction is it's all the same things, just rearranged. So plus two, minus two, plus one, minus one. All right, so see if in the next two minutes you can write as much as of the formulas as possible. And then we'll work on it together the last minute. Yes. Which one? Which one? He's working hard. All right, we got one minute left still. I mean, we have two in, two in class, but one. Doing the call. Going good? Not really. Let me look. <clears throat> well, that's right. That's BA. Do you remember your elements? Okay, so that's probably part of the problem. All right, here we go. Barium chloride. Barium is BA. Chloride is Cl, drop and swap, BaCl2. Sodium is Na with the plus one, sulfate's a minus two, so it's Na2SO4. Barium is a Ba, and it's a plus two and a minus two, so I do not need subscripts at all for this one. And then sodium chloride is Na with a plus one and Cl with a minus one. So that's good as well. Finally, I need to balance them. It's a pretty simple one to fix. The only subscripts that really matter are the two on the Na and the two on the Cl. That can be fixed by simply putting a two here and a one everywhere else. Okay, here we go, stamps. You can earn a stamp tomorrow if you have 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 done. Stamp tomorrow for the rest of 15, 16 through 20. You guys are awesome. Thank you. What? Oh, goodbye, my friend.